The doctor is in. Hi guys, it's your pal Dr. Sal again. Today we're looking at a very interesting study that came across my desk. Now we all know about the benefits, the health benefits of regular aerobic exercise on our bodies. It's transformative. However, this study of 1.2 million persons answers another question above, upstairs, how much exercise is necessary for mental health? How much exercise will help you for depression, anxiety, etc. Very interesting study and first of its kind that I've seen to be able to answer the question of not the benefits downstairs, but the benefits upstairs. Let's take a look. So we hear all the time about the benefits of doing exercise for your physical body, but what about for your mental state of mind? How much exercise is necessary to alleviate depression, anxiety, and so forth? Well, this landmark study was done between 2011 to 2015, and it's quite a large study. It looked at 1.2 million people, and they did uh, phone interviews. So, really large study. Um, what it revealed is that in people who had previously had a diagnosis of depression, So people who were known, had a clinical diagnosis of depression, um, the results were very surprising that a full third or 34.5% reported markedly reduced uh, mental health burden versus those who did no exercise. So that's pretty remarkable. In other words, uh, exercise can work pretty much as well as a drug for controlling uh, depressive symptoms and uh, mental health, other mental health problems like anxiety, compared to people who do not exercise. So the next question that needed to be answered, it obviously begs the question, well, how much is enough? So they also looked at that too, which is what makes this uh, study so exciting and interesting. What they found is that exercise of all types, independent whether it was swimming, cycling, rowing, jumping, skipping, uh, toboggan, whatever it was, that the lowest incidence of mental health burden of all types was with exercise, drum roll please, of duration 30 to 60 minutes. That seemed to be the kind of golden hour to half an hour that was necessary for um, improving mental health. What they found, which was also interesting, is that going beyond that, so going greater than 90 minutes, provided no additional benefit over exercising for the 30 to 60 minutes. So just pushing yourself, doing extra, didn't get any brownie points. Even more surprising though, is that going over three hours per exercise session um, actually was worse than not exercising at all. So you could as well have just sat at home and been sedentary if you're looking for mental health gains. So doing too much was actually counterproductive. The next big question that they were able to answer with this landmark study is how often should you exercise? And what they found the answer to that was is that the magic number, it followed kind of like a, a U-shaped um, distribution. The magic number for exercise was three to five times per week. Uh, that was superior to exercising less than three times a week and it was also superior to exercising more than five times a week. So again, there, your porridge needs to be just the right temperature, not too hot, not too cold. So too little exercise is detrimental to mental health, but so is too much exercise. So doing too much or too little. So ideally with your exercise program, you should be looking for somewhere between half an hour to an hour 
and three to five times per week. Not less than three times or every other day and not more than five days a week. It's not a job after all, it's your leisure time. And if you follow these guidelines, you should find you have superior mental health without necessarily having to resort to SSRIs and other drugs for mental health. So I thought this was a very interesting uh, study to bring to you guys. And I'll have more insider secrets and tips and tricks from the medical field in the next episode. I'll see you in a week. This has been your pal, Dr. Sal. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for watching. Get notified of new videos. Subscribe now. If you found this video helpful, support us by sharing it with all of your friends. And throw us a like below. You're a star. Cheers and cheerio.